Imagine giving up a kidney to help save your boss's life and then getting fired. A woman on New York's Long Island says it happened to her. Jim Axelrod reports she is now taking on her former employer. Jim, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Charlie and Erica. A 47-year-old divorced mother of two named Debbie Stevens is headed to court. Now, if her case goes to trial and if a jury ends up seeing things her way, it's going to make any complaints anyone might have about his or her boss seem like nothing in comparison. Aside from being, you know, hurt, is I felt ashamed. Last August, according to papers filed with the New York State Division of Human Rights, Stevens was working as an assistant to an executive at the Atlantic Automotive Group, which operates car dealerships on Long Island. Her boss, Jacqueline Brucia, needed a new kidney. Debbie offered to help in an uncommonly generous way. She became a link in a multiple patient kidney chain, which resulted in a kidney for her boss. I was donated on her behalf so that she could get another one. She could get a good one that matched her perfectly. To be part of that, you're going to get one, you have to give one. Correct. According to Stevens, the only thanks she got from her boss came in an email. Thanks more than I can ever say. No face-to-face -face visit? I mean, what, what was I going to do? Say, oh, how come you haven't said thank you? Stevens returned to work four weeks later, even before Brucia. Three days after coming back, Stevens didn't feel well. No sooner walked in the door of my house and the phone rang and it was her saying, what are you doing? Why are you home? And I'm like, well, Jackie, I, I don't feel well. And um, she's like, well, you know, you just can't come and go as you please. You, you, you know, people are going to think you're getting special treatment. Stevens had complications from the surgery, she says, like nerve damage in her leg. But, says Stevens, the yelling didn't stop. She told me that it sounded like a personal problem and she wasn't interested. And I said, well, you know, it's a personal problem because I had surgery, I, because I had a kidney removed. She said, oh, are you throwing this up in my face? When she hired a lawyer, Stevens was given a different job at another dealership 50 miles away before being fired. When you get fired, what reason did they give? They just told me that I wasn't working up to their standard, that I was making mistakes. Somebody, some reader or some viewer, is going to read this story and say, wait a minute, this just doesn't add up. Well, it doesn't. And if I didn't live through it myself, I probably would have a hard time believing it also. But this is exactly how it happened. On Monday, Jacqueline Brucia said this. I will always be very grateful that she gave me a kidney. I have nothing bad to say about her. She did a wonderful thing for me, and uh, I wish her the best. Which didn't answer the obvious question. Why then did Debbie Stevens get fired? The Atlantic Auto Group has this to say. It is unfortunate that one employee has used her own generous act to make up a groundless claim. Atlantic Auto treated her appropriately and acted honorably and fairly at every turn. As for Debbie Stevens, she's now left to prepare her lawsuit and deal with her raw emotions. What did you have to be ashamed about? Um, that's just it, nothing really, I guess. This is one of those stories in which you say there must be something else here. Now, they hired her back, uh, and there's no evidence of a bad performance record at all? Well, you know, she had worked there for the auto group from 2009 to 2010, took off to go to Florida, and then they hire her back when she comes back to the New York area. So she had this new job they transferred her to. She said she was slow getting up and running, but there's nothing that would appear to be uh, you know, so damaging that they needed to... No one stepped her. forward to say, here's what's going on, sir. So you know from hanging around the news business, there's always another shoe that drops, right. some other piece of the story mm -hmm. that comes out and you go, aha. If this story turns out to be what Debbie Stevens is saying it is, then, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new leader in the boss from hell derby. Wow. <laughs> Quite a story. It's incredible. Yeah. Jim, thank you.